That folks is wrong with ideal. In this video, I will specifically show you how to find a breaker that protects a live 120 volt circuit in an electrical panel using the sure trace circuit tracer from ideal. With the circuit tracer, you can quickly find a breaker in a group of electrical panels and save a lot of time in the process. The tracer can be used on either open or closed circuits and is rated for up to 600 volts AC or DC and is a category three rated tester so it can be safely used in distribution panels and throughout a building. Now if you're using circuit tracers to trace live circuits folks, please be safe out there and follow good industry safety practices. The tracers consist of a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter produces a unique signal onto the circuit to be traced. The receiver provides a numeric value and a variable pitch tone that increases as the signal becomes stronger. Step one is to plug the transmitter into the circuit being traced. Step two, holding the receiver near the transmitter, shows it is receiving a signal and the lightning bolt symbol indicates power is present on the circuit. The receiver has four sensitivity modes with great resolution from 0 to 99. The four sensitivity modes can help you identify the correct panel when more than one is present and then select the breaker mode for breaker identification. Step three is to set the sensitivity to the highest sensitivity level to find the panel the breaker is in. Then place the receiver flat on the front cover near the top of each panel in the group of panels looking for the panel with the highest reading. The panel with the highest reading is the correct panel. Step four is to set the sensitivity to the lowest level or breaker mode. Open the correct electrical panel door and properly identify the breaker by simply slowly scanning each of the breakers with the receiving unit while looking for the breaker with the highest reading. It may take a couple of passes to identify the breaker with the highest signal. Starting in the upper left or right corner of the panel, hold the nose of the receiver at right angles to the breaker over the location where the branch circuit conductor is located to the breaker. Scan around in a consistent manner, keeping the orientation of the receiver the same for the entire scan, and be sure to go around the breakers completely once, noting the area where you obtain the highest reading. Be sure that all the breakers in the panel have been scanned, and on the second scan, confirm your observations and determine the breaker with the highest reading. To double check your findings, tilt the receiver up and down by 45 degrees. The readings should remain fairly stable. If they do not, then this may not be the correct breaker. Be sure that the nose of the receiver is centered on the conductor located under the panel cover. The nose should also be on the outer edge of the breaker. Step five is to trip the breaker identified by the receiver and the lightning bolt symbol indicating power will turn off on the receiving unit, indicating the transmitting unit no longer detects power on the circuit. This tells us with a quick look at the tracer that you've tripped the right circuit breaker. Make sure to hold the tip of the receiver on the face of the breaker in the orientation shown for best results. Following these steps when identifying a breaker and an electrical panel will help you find the correct breaker using the circuit tracer. If you'd like to know more about the line of SureTrace circuit tracers from Ideal, you can find them on our website or contact our customer service department and learn more about how you can get your hands on one. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal.